Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video, we are going to see how we can build a low poly mosaic structure of a flamingo head consisting of small triangular pyramids. So guys, let's get started. To start with, open the Blender application on your computer. Blender is a free software which you can install on your system whether it is Windows or Mac OS, it is available for both. Once the Blender opens, then you are presented with this default 3D viewport. This is your workspace. This is the area where you do all your modeling. But we do not need the default cube camera and the light that comes with the default 3D viewport. So what we are going to do is that we are going to press A to select everything, then press X on the keyboard and then select the delete button to delete all of these unnecessary items from our 3D viewport. Once we have deleted these unnecessary items, then we'll go into the front view by pressing one on the keyboard. This one is actually numpad one and you can enable those from edit preferences menu. So there is an easy option to enable that. Once you're in the front mode, press shift A on your keyboard to enable the addition menu. And from there, we are going to add a background image, which is the image of a flamingo head. And this will help us to model our 3d flamingo mosaic model on top of this background image now when you add any image you see an additional menu appearing on the right hand side which is the picture menu and if you want to reduce the opacity of the image to enable you to do the modeling properly then you can utilize that opacity alpha option to reduce the opacity of the image for the purpose of the tutorial i am not going to reduce the opacity i am going to keep it as it is and whenever i don't need it i can turn off the background image from the right hand top menu you see those i buttons so you can click on those and you can uh, make them on and off as per your desire also you will not see the background image in the 3d mode so if you have added the background image in the front view then you will be able to see the background image only in the front view next we'll start with the modeling of the flamingo through very simple means what i will do is that i will simply open the addition menu again and then i'm going to add a simple square plane on this front view and with the help of that square plane we are going to do the entire modeling once the plane is added it will be perpendicular to the front view so we are going to rotate it 90 degree along the x-axis so that you know uh, it becomes visible in, in the front direction to us that's the default addition plane for the pl uh, for the square plane so you always have to rotate it when you add any square plane in the front view so first with the help of this 2d plane we are going to create a 2d outline structure uh, as per the background image and then we'll convert that 2d outline structure into a 3d mosaic model we'll convert those uh, you know faces into 3d structures so a couple of actions that we are going to repeat again and again is one grab and move for that you need to select the object you want to move press g and you can specify a specific axis or with the help of mouse you can move in a particular view so if you are in a front view then there will be no movement along the y-axis because you are in the z and x plane if you are in the side view then there will be no movement along the x-axis and if you are in the top view then there will be no movement along the uh, z-axis this is a very good way to keep your movement restricted to only two uh, axes uh, or two directions so what i have done is that i have grabbed that plane and i have situated one corner at the starting point of the base of the flamingo head as you can see that one of the vertex is coinciding with the uh, neck of the flamingo the, the end point of the neck of the flamingo next we'll go into the edit mode by pressing tab or you can also choose from that drop down so when you press tab you move in and out of the edit mode now the second set of action that we'll be doing quite a lot is uh, extrude option extrude basically what it does is that it creates uh, or it extrapolates whatever you have selected so if you have selected an edge then it will extrapolate an edge so if you have selected a, a vertex it will extrapolate another vertex and create an edge between that newly created vertex and the vertex that you extruded similarly if you extrude a 2d face it will get converted into a cube because you are extruding the entire face. So extrude essentially helps you 
to extrapolate whatever you have selected so of the 2d plane that i have just added what i'm going to do is that i'm going to delete one of the vertices because i don't want square pyramids for my mosaic i want triangular pyramids so i'm going to delete one of the vertices which will uh, sorry not delete dissolve one of the vertices which will convert my four-sided plane into a triangle now for the rest of this tutorial till i am done creating this 2d structure for the flamingo all you are going to see me doing is grab the vertices align it along the outline of the background figure and then extrude it to create new set of vertices then uh, you know if when you want to create face out of the selected vertices you select all the three vertices you want to uh, you want to create face from and then you press f on your keyboard and you can create face so as you can see on the on the screen uh, we already have placed three vertices along the outline of the background figure next we have just now extruded another vertex so the previous vertex remains in its place and the new vertex just moves ahead while creating a, an edge between the previous and the new vertices then i want to create a edge between the top vertex and the newly extruded vertex so i'm going to select those two and press f and it will create a edge because you have only selected two vertices but if you have selected three vertices and you press f then it will create a face so this is the entire process that i am going to be repeating again and again and again until i have made the entire 2d outline face based structure for this background image So here we are with the completed 2D or two dimensional structure of the flamingo head and now we will convert it uh, in a while into the 3D structure but before we do that what we are going to do is that we are going to color this 2D structure. The reason we are doing the coloring right now is because when a structure is in 2D there are less faces to color and if you work on a colored face the corresponding extruded faces, wood faces etc they all are of the same color. So this will reduce our work of coloring more number of faces later on. So we'll start with the coloring you will go to the materials uh, you know menu at the right hand side. First we are going to uh, add a new material then create a new material define the color of the material with the help of the color wheel you can choose your own color so i made a uh, pink flamingo with a little bit of yellow white and black in the beak and uh, i have not particularly uh, paid any special attention to the eye the the reason being because this is a low poly model it doesn't need to be exactly looking like the background image so you can choose your own colors once you have selected uh, uh, the, all the colors then you can select the specific faces which you want to color and assign that color to those faces the way i normally do it is that the color which is going to be utilized most i select all the faces in one go by pressing a on the keyboard and then i assign the, the that color to all the faces and then on the remaining faces uh, which require other color i select them again and assign them that color Next what we are going to do is that we are going to split all these faces into individual faces. Right now this is all an interconnected 2D structure. That means that if you move one face it will also have effect on the f corresponding or side adjacent faces which it is attached to which we do not want. So what we want to do is that we want to ensure that each face is its own individual entity so that when we convert these faces into pyramids. Uh, they do not affect the rest of the face so for that go to the mesh option in mesh option in the split menu select split edges 
uh, split faces by edges and what it will do is that it will separate out all the face so you can see that with the help of grabbing the face if I'm moving it only that face is moving now it is not affecting rest of the structure and now we will proceed to the next step where we are going to convert this 2d flamingo structure into a 3d one to do that in the front view select all the faces by pressing a then go to the side view by pressing numpad 3 on your keyboard and then press e to extrude and then y to extrude along the y axis you can choose the depth of the extrusion as per your desire if you want to extrude uh, let's say not too much then you can just do the extrusion slightly if you want to extrude if you want the peaks of the pyramid to come to outside then you can do the extrusion uh, more on the y axis with that simple move we have converted our 2d structure into a 3d one but it is still not in the form of pyramids as we saw at the start of the video to do that go back into the front view and now what we are going to do is that we are going to select the top face of each of those triangular blocks and we are going to merge those three vertices at the center of the block so uh, instead of a flat plateau top surface of the block it is going to be a peak on each of those triangular blocks and it is going to look like pyramids now essentially our model is almost ready in case you want to have varying depth of the peaks of those mosaic pyramids then you can select the specific uh, you know vertices at the top of those pyramids and move them along the uh, y axis slightly to increase and decrease the depth of the model so this is what i'm doing right now i'm trying to create a little varying depth at the base of the peak it is going to be the least uh, height and then uh, at the rest of the body and at the face it is going to be slightly more height so this will give a more varying 3d effect to my flamingo model next save your work uh, by pressing ctrl s in the form of a blender file and then export this file in the form of a .obj file to be used in pepacura to convert this 3d model into a 2d template and that will be our next step we are going to see how to convert this model into a 2d template in pepacura so open the pepacura application on your desktop now pepacura is a paid application so there is a uh, fees that you have to pay to get the uh, license key for this application but it's lifetime so it's a worthwhile investment if you are working on uh, low poly modeling and 2d template creation quite a lot so drag and drop your object model select no flip because we don't want to flip the sides inside out then select the front and the bottom of the model and uh, then at the last step uh, go and select invert because we want the head of the flamingo on the right hand side only we don't want it to be on the uh, left hand side so what we are going to do is that we are going to select the invert option so in pepacura you are going to see it on the uh, left hand side but in reality when you will work your model it will come on the right hand side finally provide the required dimensions for your model how high wide and depth of the model that you want it to be i think the for me the more pertinent question was the depth of the model because i was going to create a small scale model but this model is meant to be used for interior decor on wall so you can also go with the height and width of the model once all done uh, click unfold button at the top which will unfold your 3d pieces into 2d template as you can see that it will automatically group by color uh, because we have colored the model in blender and these colors are only visible in the dot obj output because if you take dot stl output then the colors will not be visible in that so that's why we took the dot obj output and so that it can categorize the pieces by colors now once uh, we have the unfolded model on the right hand side workspace now comes the tedious and the tough part where we uh, need to you know uh, sequence all these pieces the sequence in which they are going to be built we also need to you know uh, clearly mention that which particular face of all these 3d pieces is going to be stuck against the wall or is it going to be at the base 
because these pieces are quite symmetrical in nature if we don't mention it right at the beginning then at the time of actual modeling with paper you will forget which face is supposed to be down on the floor or on the wall so we'll clearly mark the corresponding faces which is supposed to be base of the pyramid for all the pieces but before we do that what i had done was that i had arranged all the pieces in the sequence in which i am supposed to uh, you know arrange them or assemble them once i have uh, created those little paper pyramids so that's the first activity that i am doing and once i have done that then i'll start numbering the pieces by putting numbers 1 2 3 and at the same time i will be marking the uh, base of each piece clearly closely arranging pieces like this also helps me to save paper space and reduce the printing requirements next step is to number the pieces and also to mark the base face clearly to do that i'll go in the sequence starting from the base of the neck towards the beak uh, on each of those little pyramids i'm going to double click on the uh, back face of that pyramid or base of the pyramid when you double click the corresponding triangle on the 2d side will get reflected and then you can press uh, ctrl t on your keyboard to enable the text mode and put the text in that specific triangle which is supposed to be the base so at the same time you are numbering the pieces but at the same time you are also uh, letting anybody who is using the template know that that particular face of the triangle is supposed to be base so that once you know they are done assembling they can mark it with pencil that this is supposed to be the base of those little triangular pyramids once done you can keep the colors on the template or you can turn off the colors also and then go to the file menu and then save the template as a pdf and later on you can utilize this pdf take a print out of it and build your own low poly mosaic flamingo model for wall decor so i hope you guys found this video useful in the next part of this video i'll be showing how to actually build this interior decor model out of paper uh, but in case you like this video then please do not forget to hit the uh, like button and share this video with your friends also do subscribe to my channel for regular videos on all various forms of arts and i'll see you guys very soon in my next video till then stay safe take care and bye bye